every afternoon after school, he would race down to the Oval and kick the ball around with his mates. Thank you. When he became captain of the footy team, we were so proud. He was competitive, not so humble. He had a drive even then. When he left to go abroad, I, I would never have thought he wouldn't come back. Scott? Yeah? You still with me? Mm. Uh huh. You got anywhere with this? Not really. You sure you don't want me to come around? I, I can make a cup or something. No, I'm... It's fine. You know you don't have to say anything, right? No one's expecting you to. If I go to my own brother's funeral and I say nothing... I really don't think anyone will mind. Trust me. They'll understand. Everyone's gonna have some sweet story about him. And if I go and I say nothing... No, I'm gonna look like a dickhead. Sounds like you need to come up with something to say then. What's your fondest memory of him? <laughs> what? What? I don't know. I don't have one. Come on, man. Of course you do. Is that mine? I thought I told you not to wear my shit! Fuck off, Luke! Brothers fight, and that happens. 
He just didn't care about me. That's ridiculous. What about when you were younger? There's got to be some nice memory. And how do you suppose that? Well, surely he wasn't born an asshole. It doesn't change anything. It still matters though. You would have had lots of happy memories with him. But that's not him though. If I only have the chance to say one thing, why would I choose something like that? I'd be going up and I'd be lying. You wouldn't. And that's what happened, right? Yeah, but that one memory isn't who he was. I'm not going to be someone who goes up and paints some fake picture of him. But that's just what you do. You remember the good times. No, you're just fucking parading around some doctored memory, making him out to be someone that he wasn't. That's ridiculous. Do we just forget all of the bad shit that people have done? That's not honouring their life. It's... Being ignorant to the reality of it, we just grit our teeth and pretend the shit that people are doling out smells good. You can't really believe that, can you? See you later, mate. Love you. Have a good one. You couldn't have known that was the last time. That's not the point. What is the point? The point
point is there is no fucking nice memory I have of him that isn't tainted. The fact that I never made a goddamn ounce of an effort when it counted means that I can't make up for it. You're wrong. You didn't know him like I did. I hated him. No, you didn't. I fucking did! I used to think there was no way we were even related. He was just so... so cruel. It's like he didn't even see me as a person. I was just... an annoying little brother. A burden. Sometimes, I think it's easy for people to think that they're stuck. And the reason they're stuck, they make it out to be because of something out of their control. You know what I reckon? I reckon through all that noise, they're the only ones who actually have the power to fix it. No one else. Just them. So it's my fault you were such a dick. How can I change that? No, it's not your fault. What I mean is... I think I know what you can say. My brother and I didn't share much in common. He was sporty, I'm not. He was smart, and I'm... It used to really bother me how good he was at things. Like he was glad that I wasn't good at anything that mattered. He was such an asshole to me sometimes. He was arrogant and he was never wrong. Even when we were kids, he was just cruel. I don't know why. I suppose I might not get to know why. And I remember he was supportive. 
I remember he was kind. I think... I think he was dreaming of all the things that he wanted to do. Who it was that he wanted to become. I think he was sorry. I'm sorry too. I never showed Luke the love that I should have. You know, I've got all this unexpressed love and that's infinite and it's... <laughs> I love you, mate.